All right, now it is time for our top five segments. <laughs> oh my goodness! I had fun with this. Did I you? Just did you would know? not tell you, and you <sighs> still have not figured it out. So freaking wrong. You're gonna like kick yourself when you hear my number one. <laughs> You're gonna be like, "Fuck! How did I, I not know, know how that? Did I not think how about did that? I not get that?" Especially since I talked about it, or at least referenced something about my number one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And yeah, Fine. so you're gonna yeah, yeah you're gonna be like damn it. But of course, this spawned from our Instagram <laughs> live a couple of days ago, uh, where we're talking about DC's future and what's gonna happen all after all this bullshit. That's right. And I mean, it was a fun one, man. It was a fun one. It was definitely interesting. Now, all of my top five uh, people that I picked, superheroes that I picked, are all from either television or film adaptations. I did not because everybody knows I'm the film and television guy. I didn't go back and read the comic books or anything, but I do have these handy dandy books over here that <laughs> help me when we go into a movie or a television series that I can go back to the origin stories. So, but that being said, my number five is Wait, we didn't say what they were. What Top you, five favorite DC heroes. I said that. Oh, did you? Yes. You're getting I old. See, I know, it's, no, getting old. <laughs> it's the gray. Yeah. It's the gray. No, I'm just really so excited about revealing the number one. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, I've been wired all day. Uh, yeah, right? Right. It's that pepper mat, white mocha. <laughs> That's what it was. It's true. My first one in forever. Oh, my goodness. But my number five <laughs> is Green Arrow, Oliver Queen, Green Arrow. That was just such – kicked off the Arrowverse on uh, the CW, and it was just amazing. I, I, it's a brilliant Stephen character. Amell, yeah, Stephen Amell, Stephen Amell knocked Amell, it man. out of the park. He did. It, it, just a whole new kind of interpretation of Green Arrow, dark, gritty. I mean, you know, I loved it. Yeah. I, I, I loved the show from start to finish. And I've always enjoyed the character in the comic books, too. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But so, so Oliver Queen, though, because, yes. you know, there's several different Green Arrows, versions of Green Arrow See, and everything. So, Oliver Queen. Yeah. Um, good. That's a good one. Yeah, That's a good man, one. Man. All right. My number five is the fastest man alive, The Flash. Yes. Barry Allen. Because, you know, there's been numerous iterations of The Flash, too. Jay Garrick at one point, Kid Flash Wally West took over as The Flash. And so, but I'm talking about specifically my man, Barry Allen, The Flash. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's always been a great storyline in the comic books. It's a great storyline in the Arrowverse. It's just The Flash. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, my number four is Cyborg. Doom Patrol mm. Cyborg. Fuck that Justice League shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> Doom Patrol Cyborg is, I think, the right interpretation of the character. And I like the original Teen Titans uh, Cyborg as well. I know you weren't a fan of any of those cartoons. Teen Titans Go definitely sucks. No. We I, agree with that, but he didn't like the other one. I, I didn't either. I fucking hate the Teen Titans cartoon. I, I do. I just I think it's awful. I think it's a – we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Yeah. But I agree with you. I do think the best interpretation of Cyborg so far is definitely Doom Patrol. Yeah. I think they nailed Vic Stone. I love it. It's a good choice. Yeah. Good. And I like the character. Good choice. Yeah. Uh, let's see. My number four, my man, Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan. Green Lantern. Yeah. This guy's a badass. Whether he became a bad guy, Parallax, and you know got rid of everything, or he's the good guy, or he's the original Emerald, you know, he just he's a badass. Definitely. Uh, green Arrow. I mean, uh, Green Lantern. Definitely. See, now you got me on Green I, Arrow. And I know. You know they teamed so up. So many greens. There was a team up. They had a long running team up comic book for really? yeah, oh yeah, for ages or whatever. Hal Jordan and and um, yeah. That's awesome. Oliver Queen. That's awesome. We'll it's, have it's, to check that out. Do, do, do you know? <laughs> Do you know the oath? I do not. No. I know you know the oath. You yeah, have I know ring, you have all of it. I have all of it. I'm a, such a geek. It's, <laughs> all right. it's all right. My number three is also the fastest man alive, uh, The Flash, who you reference in, as your number five. I just love the crossovers they did in the Arrowverse with Oliver Queen and all those other characters, I think. Then the – I forget the actor's name, but he did a great interpretation of the character. Uh, Grant Gustin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's brilliant. I, I mean, you're right. I think it's, again, the most spot-on interpretation of the character that, yeah. that we could see. I mean, just everything about the Arrowverse, Berlanti. Um, Seriously, <laughs> Team Berlanti. That's right. All right, my number three. It's a tie. It's a tie between Superman and Batman. Mm. I love them both equally. I just think they're both they're, – they're so on the different end of the spectrum yeah. of how they approach their fight you know, for justice and, and, and against crime and everything. But I just – I'm a huge fan of – how can you not be? I mean if you're a fan of DC Seriously. and you're not a fan of the Trinity, yeah, something's wrong. Yeah. So I know you're thinking Trinity. Wait for it. Wait for 
But Superman, Batman, tied. Boom. All right, my number two is Nightwing, Dick Grayson. He's a fucking badass, especially in the new Titan series that is on DC Universe. Check that out. And plus, like that when he shows up in the animated series, I love it. Every second of it, he's a badass. He is a badass, totally. Yeah. You know another badass? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is my number two. Yeah. I mean, how can you not? Like I said, the Trinity, man. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. I just think it's a brilliant character. It's been reworked so many times. Oh, yeah, but, for sure. Uh, I just always, from the comic books all the way through, I loved Linda Carter's version back in the 70s, the original. I love Gal Gadot's version of it. I just think it's a brilliant character. It's brilliantly done. Women, man. Women. Women, women power. Wonder Woman. Yeah. But not my number one is Batman. <laughs> Love fucking Batman. You see my Funko over here? Batman. Christian Bale. I am Batman. Yes. That is my Batman, and he's the best Batman, in my opinion. But <laughs> yes, Bruce Wayne is a fucking badass, and he's basically Tony Stark, and that's why Iron Man's my favorite superhero in the Marvel Universe. So, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, my number one. My number one. You have said on your list, Nightwing. Yeah. Nightwing is by far my favorite character in the DC universe. Yeah. I just think where he's come from, Dick Grayson. Let's yeah. just say Dick Grayson. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but currently Nightwing. But this whole storyline of how he evolves out from underneath Batman's yeah. shadow. And, you know, from the the go lucky boy wonder to the brooding boy wonder to, you know, walking away altogether and then yeah, coming exactly. back as Nightwing and now this like badass. Um, I agree with you. I just think his storyline is just one that I've always been attracted to. Um, and I, I credit hugely Marv Wolfman and George Perez. Yeah. Cause like we talked about the new teen Titans was the very first comic book I ever bought for yeah. myself, like my own, I'm going to start collecting. And I just think their, their storyline with Dick Grayson. And for anybody who doesn't know, Marvel Wolfman and George Perez are the guys who had him walk away as Robin and then come back as Nightwing. Yeah. So, um, it's just, a, he's a brilliant and you're right. I, a huge Brenton Thwaites is just killing it on Titans. Yeah. The new, he handled, he did Robin really well, but now Nightwing with the fuck just badass, bro. And I really want to see a movie. Yeah, right. I really want to see a Nightwing movie. Super so there it is. Nightwing exactly. is my is my favorite. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, yeah. That was a great top five segment, even though I stumbled over words. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs>